They captivate crowds with their unique style and have shed a positive light on the city of Detroit. The Detroit Youth Choir is more than just a choir. They say they are a family. They started with seven members and have since grown to about 100. The group will host its first major annual spring concert at Orchestra Hall in Detroit. But tonight, we are getting an exclusive look at what you can expect. And I'm excited because I heard them rehearsing in the hallway, and I know we are in for a treat. Our Terrell Bailey is live in our other studio with the Detroit Youth Choir. Of course, each member has yeah. their own unique story to tell. Terrell, you are going to introduce us to a few of them. Shayna, Metro Detroit, let me just tell you something. I am with some multi-talented young men and women. This is the Detroit Youth Choir. This isn't even the entire choir. It's just a fraction of the members. Now, before we actually get into the tantalizing performance that's upcoming, of course, I had to just grab several of the members. I have Nayona, I have Chauncey, I also have Carly here. Thank you all for taking the time to just chit-chat with me before you all perform. Uh, my first question is, uh, you know, what interest you all in being a part of the choir? Um, for me personally, um, I've always loved doing music when I was younger. Um, over the years, I never really had anywhere to put my music out anywhere. So being able to be a part of the choir gave me that opportunity and that chance. And now I know this has been an exceptional year. You all have been doing a lot of traveling, you know, for a Metro Detroiter to be all the way over there in L.A., what does that mean to you all? L.A., New York City, you guys have kind of seen a lot recently. It, it means a lot to me because I don't really travel a lot, and to travel with people that really care about me is a really good opportunity. And your families, you know, uh, your families, how do they feel about all of the success that you all have been having recently? Um, they're just like, their like emotion is just the same as mine. It's just like, it's kind of like an unbelievable thing, especially like being out and showing people what I love to do. So it's like, you know, we're kind of just sharing the same emotions. We're both just, it's like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Man, great stuff there. Now, we had a chance to talk in advance. You all told me they are teenagers, Metro Detroit. These people are teenagers. So I guess in 10 years from now, if we were to come and have an interview with you, how do you think life would be different? Do you all think you'd still be singing? I don't think it would be too much different. Like, I know either way it goes, like, I'm going to be somewhere on the stage. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. So now, does this mean that I can potentially join the group as well? Oh, just um, a bit over the age. No, <laughs> oh, just a little teeny bit. Oh. For our choir, if you do want to join, you have to be the age between 8 and 18. So, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Metro Detroit, I guess I am a little bit too old for this. Now, I also notice, if you all can notice out there, we have young men and women in red vests, black vests, as well as purple vests. So can someone kind of explain to myself and everyone out there, what's the differences between the vests? The color of these vests represent our sections. So for our altos, we represent red. For our sopranos, they represent purple. And for our tenors and bass, they represent black. All right, all right. And so right now, there's probably a Metro Detroiter same age as you all, if not younger. They want to be on stage, too. They would like to be on TV, too. What do we say to those young Metro Detroiters who are trying to be just like you guys? I would say continue to do what you're doing. Um, if you're on a good path, stay on that path. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot do. It's up to you where you want to be in the future. So just continue doing what you're doing, and you're going to make it regardless. There we go, Metro Detroit. Continue doing what you are doing. Let me, I want to give these three a break because Shayna, Metro Detroit, we have an amazing performance coming up in just a few minutes. Keep it here. I'm going to toss things back to you all in the newsroom. I can't wait, and I'm still giggling that they said you are too old, Terrell. <laughs> Not today. Thank you. We will see I guess you I am too in old. just a few minutes. <laughs> we will be right back with a performance from the Detroit Youth Choir right after this. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock, in Macomb County. Hi, we're CBS News Detroit, but we don't just cover the news here. We're also here, here, and everywhere in between. You know, the places you live, work, and play in Southeast Michigan. We're talking less of this, and more of the stories that actually matter to you. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock. That's right, local news just found a home in your neighborhood. We're CBS News Detroit, live, streaming, and on demand. 
Nice to meet you. CBS News Detroit. On your block, around the clock in Wayne County. News Detroit on your block around the clock in Monroe County. CBS News Detroit, the stories you care about. Live, streaming, and on demand. We're on your block around the clock. Southeast Michigan News whenever you want it. We live here. We work here. From North Branch to Southgate. East Point to Westland. Wherever you live, we're here for you. Making a difference in your neighborhood. CBS News Detroit. Live, streaming, and on demand. Building a better newscast, one story at a time. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock in Oakland County. It's here, the new CBS News Detroit. Covering every corner of our community. With experienced journalists, uncovering the stories that truly matter to you. Making a difference in your neighborhood. And weather experts, always looking ahead to prepare you for what's next live streaming and on demand with more hours of local news coming soon southeast michigan news whenever you want it right here on cbs news detroit weekdays at 5 6 and 11 and streaming live Welcome back. Let's go right out to Terrell Bailey, who is standing by with Detroit Youth Choir tonight. Terrell, take it away. Yeah, Shayna, performing the song Glory, now introducing the Detroit Youth Choir.
the Detroit Youth Choir, everyone. Excellent performance, excellent performance. Shayna, I know you are probably in the newsroom right yes. now, just, just overall impressed with these young men and women, right? Yeah, you can't see it or hear it, but there's a few of us around here. There was a, a quick round of applause. They are incredibly talented, each and every one of them. Thank you, Terrell. Okay, and here's the thing. We only have one performance. We still have more to go. CBS yep. News Detroit continue to stay with us. Metro Detroit, we've got more coming from the Detroit Youth Choir. And we will be right back with that. Stay tuned. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock in Macomb County. Hi, we're CBS News Detroit, but we don't just cover the news here. We're also here, here, and everywhere in between. You know, the places you live, work, and play in Southeast Michigan. We're talking less of this, and more of the stories that actually matter to you. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock. That's right, local news just found a home in your neighborhood. We're CBS News Detroit, live, streaming, and on demand. Nice to meet you. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock in Wayne County. News Detroit on your block around the clock in Monroe County. CBS News Detroit, the stories you care about. Live, streaming, and on demand. We're on your block around the clock. Southeast Michigan News whenever you want it. We live here. We work here. From North Branch to Southgate. East Point to Westland. Wherever you live, we're here for you. Making a difference in your neighborhood. CBS News Detroit. Live, streaming, and on demand. Building a better newscast, one story at a time. CBS News Detroit, on your block, around the clock in Oakland County. It's here, the new CBS News Detroit. Covering every corner of our community. With experienced journalists, uncovering the stories that truly matter to you. Making a difference in your neighborhood. And weather experts, always looking ahead to prepare you for what's next live streaming and on demand with more hours of local news coming soon southeast michigan news whenever you want it right here on cbs news detroit weekdays at 5 6 and 11 and streaming live Welcome back. They have graced the stage of Carnegie Hall, and now they're back home in Motown. Once again, here's Terrell Bailey with the Detroit Youth Choir. Yes, without further ado, we have the Detroit Youth Choir here one more time performing Hold On.
Metro Detroit, you all have had a show for sure tonight. Thank you all for joining us. The Detroit Youth Choir, excellent job. Very, very impressed. I know I'm impressed. I'm pretty sure Shayna, she's impressed back there in the newsroom. Now it's time to talk to some of the people that make it all come together. So we're going to be speaking with Shalala. She's actually the choir's choreographer. And we're going to be talking to the man that is behind it all. Come here, Mr. Anthony. So I, 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 my first question for you is, you're working with teenagers a yes. lot of times. Yes. What is it like? Uh, to work with these young people, it's, it's a journey. Uh, it's very uh, impactful. You know, just working with them, just being in their presence. And I'm honored to be their director. And now we come on now, Shalala. We've got to get you in the mix as well. Now, you're the choreographer. So yeah. for you, working with teenagers, what is it like? Um, I work with students all day long. I'm a teacher by trade, um, and I'm with DYC by every other time. Um, no, so these youth um, are so important and impactful. Um, they give a lot to the city and what we're trying to do for the youth. And just, you know, you have had an incredible time traveling from New York City to Los Angeles. So being able to give these young people these experiences for you all as adults, yes. how does it feel? Well, myself and my partner, Natalie, who's not here with us today, um, we work hard to make sure that they feel seen and heard in their arts. Um, over 90% of our graduates do major in the performing arts, so we want them to develop into that as they're with um, DYC. And also, uh, you know, I've been doing this for over 23 years. Wow. Yeah, and uh, that's what people don't know. So uh, just putting the work in with them. Uh, we have three choirs. We have Limelight, Center Stage, and this is prime time. And uh, all of our prime timers are not here, but uh, they're probably at home watching. <laughs> but uh, they're all magnificent. Uh, they love to travel, sing, and they all have great grades as well. Nice, nice. And now I know March the 19th, there is something very special taking place in Midtown Detroit. Just go ahead and, and kind of give me a quick synopsis of that. Well, March 19th, we have uh, an American Treasure concert. Mm -hmm that's going on down at Orchestra Hall. Mm -hmm. This is our first time at Orchestra Hall and we want everybody to be there. Uh, we want it to be sold out, matter of fact. <laughs> you know. Yes, the, they're working so hard. We are creating a compilation of different things, different things that our fans have said. We love mm -hmm. that, we want to yeah. see it and to give them an opportunity to just show you Detroit what we work so hard at. And so support, you know, what do you all expect from the Metro Detroit community? Uh, I mean, just uh, come out, uh, purchase a ticket, go mm -hmm. to our website, mm -hmm. DetroitYouthChoir.org, and you'll get to see DYC singing alongside of LaShawn's, which is uh, our guest performer, mm -hmm. which she was the first Sealy in the Broadway Color Purple, and she's also a Tony Award winning wow. actress, mm -hmm. and we're going to be singing with her. We have two songs we're doing with them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we, do, we cannot wait. Every opportunity they get is a chance for them to just show you Detroit, why we have there Detroit we in our name. Yeah. I yes, love it. I yes. love it. So now, potentially, can I be a part of this on March the 19th? Uh, yes, for sure. Um, Purchase that ticket. Mm -hmm. I need to see if you <laughs> accounts, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shayna. See, now it's time to go ahead and toss things back to you in the newsroom because Thank after all of this, they still <laughs> won't let me be a part of the choir. I, the man said <laughs> you could now, attend. For now, we're live in Studio B. I'm tossing <laughs> it back to you. Thank you so much, Terrell. Thank you to the Detroit Youth Choir, Tony and Shalala as well. Everyone can attend. Uh, hope to get those tickets soon. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for CBS News Detroit at 7. We will see you later tonight on the air and on the CBS News app for CBS News Detroit at 11 o'clock. Have a good night.